Matt on the mic back with another one. We're about to check out this Nope, the official trailer. Uh, Universal Pictures is coming out with this one. It just dropped about 15, 16 hours ago. And if I'm not mistaken, um, Key wrote this from Key and Pill. From Pill. We're about to watch it to find out. Let's jump into it. Traditional countdown. Did you know that the very first assembly of photographs to create a motion picture was a two-second clip of a black man on a horse? And that man is my great-great-grandfather. Great. There's another great-grandfather. That buddy from, uh... But that's why, back at the Haywood Ranch, as the only black-owned horse trainers in Hollywood, we like to say so the from motion pictures can move. Yes, anyway. <laughs> that was the scariest movie I ever watched. Get out. That's scary. You doing another scary movie? Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> From Jordan Peele, okay. Jordan Peele with the movie. Key and Peele crazy, man. That's like a UFO. Get out, buddy. He just standing up. Remember that horse running to the light? Okay, summertime, we already got some movies for the summer. What's a bad miracle? A bad miracle. They got work for that. A bad miracle. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No? Why they got the dancing? They got the dancing, the waving bangs on the uh, and the double. No. Seven twenty-two twenty-two. Written and directed by Jordan Peele. Okay. So I might get that shit off the screen what's on the screen right now, but what? You understand what I'm saying? Huh? Can I say that? Can I do that like that? Hold on, man. I had to stop. I had to stop like the video. I had to make every. I had to make sure everything was stopped, man. Jordan Peele movie. Nope. Seven twenty two twenty two. So the only thing that I really got from that that was very informational was. With, with the cinematic sounds and stuff like that, the soundscape, you already know, it's another scary movie. But what, what really led us to know what the movie is about, other than the music or the scoring, is uh, he said, what's the name for, is there a bad miracle? Is there a name for a bad miracle? So, you know, they're screaming and stuff. She lifted up in the air, just flying. They had like some alien looking, monster looking stuff in there, but Looked like they was giving him a pound, like he was giving him a dap or something like that. And you know them dudes is very creative, man. Jordan, Pill, Key and Pill. I don't know their names. If you not, if you know their names, uh, of course Jordan Pill. But if you know Key's name, drop his name in the comments. Uh, I got on today comedy and stuff like that a while back, and I just gravitated towards it. I never really watched Dave Chappelle like that, but. Once I started watching them, then I went back and watched Dave Chappelle, and they stuff is is kind of like Dave Chappelle. Like, once you get into them, man, and if you like that type of stuff, like that particular type of comedy is, uh, I, I don't even know if you can categorize it because they break barriers with certain stuff, man. It's just goofy as shit, though. So I like that type of comedy. Um, they don't really, there's no expectations as far as what they're doing. Like, it's not just traditional comedy, just like how. Dave Chappelle does his stuff. So he does his stuff and it's like, some of that stuff is blurring the lines. He's gotten more into doing a particular type of comedy because he's spreading a message. But anyway, we talk about Jordan, Pill, Key and Pill. These guys are very smart, they're very creative, and uh, I like it. It's not coming all out until all the way into summer. 
And after watching the Scream movie, which I got to do a review on that. After watching the Scream movie, man, we do need a good scary movie. But once again, the most scariest movie I ever watched was was Get Out. To me, that's, the, <laughs> that's like the most scariest movie I ever watched. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so overall, for this right here, the Nope trailer, I really don't know what to think about it so much. It says plus 13 hidden clues on there. 13 hidden, hidden clues that explain everything. I guess that was supposed to be broken down in the, in, in the actual trailer. I seen the, the, the what are them little dancing things, the wiggly things they have outside for the promotion and stuff. It get you, they're colorful, and they get your attention, but it's in the desert. You know what I'm saying? And then he said about, uh, the, I mean, immediately when it comes on, the first film that they were filmed was a black man riding a horse. And that was, you know, her grandpa, and great grandpa, great grandfather or something like that. And uh, they used that for that. I don't know, I ain't catch it. Y'all caught all 13 clues. I didn't even read the full trailer thing when I, uh, the trailer title when I looked at it. That wasn't on there. I seen no trailer. And then uh, this one has, oh, I'm tripping. So this is uh, the thing that's on the screen now is somebody else's breakdown. I guess I should watch that because it says 13 hidden clues that, hidden clues, excuse me, 13 hidden clues that explain everything. I ain't watching that though, man. Like I'd rather watch the trailer like I did now and then go and um, look at the movie when the movie comes out and then come back and do a review on it. I think that'll be a lot better. But anyway, no trailer. Um, Jordan Peele. You guys are dope, man. So as of right now, just we, we they're dope, but we're gonna like simply, simply give a review as far as the trailer. I don't, I'm honestly, like, it's just from the trailer, I don't think it's a movie that I would go to the, you know what I'm saying, to the actual theater and watch. That would be something that I might catch when I need to go to sleep or maybe something that, you know, I need to watch something different, i catch that. But being because of it's Jordan Peele, Universal, they always do good stuff, I would probably give, you know, try to watch it regularly. It's still at home though. I don't feel like it's, a, it's, it's something that I would go to the theater and watch. That's just me personally, you know. Y'all get real reaction and reviews over here, you know what I'm saying? And Matt is so serious. Uh, <laughs> uh, Matt just playing. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get that trailer, uh, I'm gonna give it a seven. And I really want to give it a six. I'm gonna give it a seven though because of who is, who's involved with it. I kind of want to give it a six though. So we gonna actually I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in the middle. We gonna give it a six and a half. I'm gonna give it a six and a half, which is like I mean it's not too bad. Scary movies these days it seems like it's very similar type of things for the scary movies. If you're not doing something zombie-ish or you know medieval. You know stuff like that where you take it back where it's like so mystical and so other stuff that you don't know at all crazy stuff then you know the regular scary movie stuff is like how much different scary stuff can you do other than like the witch witches and ghost and you know all that it's, it's almost all the same but they have done it and they've done it again and people have done it real good and some of them ain't do it that good at all you know what i mean but anyway, I'm back with another one, and uh, we'll keep coming at you with Mo. And uh, yeah, it's Matt on the mic, or I'm so serious, Matt so serious, or I'm just, you know, Matt just playing, you know, Hitman playing, just whatever, man. Everything Matt. <laughs>